What's up YouTube, it's your boy Jay Will, back at it again, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about what not to do when selling your beats. Bring in the hook. All right, YouTube fans, so before we get started, what I want to talk about is the beat contest that we're having at the end of the month. So it's going to be March Madness style, and we're going to have an unlimited amount of participants. All right, so in order to join in this beat making contest, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, like this video, and also leave a comment below letting me know that you have joined the family and you are wanting to enter the contest. You can send those beats in at the email address below and I'll have more details about it in the description. All right. And the winner first place will receive two professional grade acoustic panels. I can't make this stuff up. All right. And second and third place will win a free collab with me. All three winners. I'm going to make the pot a little bit sweeter. We'll have my personal number. So when they need advice on certain things, just shoot me a text, give me a quick call, and I'll be glad to go over those things with you, you feel me? So, back into the video. So the first thing I would say is don't be spammy in people's inbox. And what I mean by that is don't go into someone's inbox and the first thing you say is, hey, you wanna buy a beat? Hey, you wanna buy a beat? Hey, you wanna buy a beat? <laughs> nah, that's gonna get you no response and um, you Technically, we'll be messaging people a little bit too fast and Instagram will notice that and they'll temporarily block your account from messaging other people. It is a slowdown and it's a hassle and it's not what you want. All right. Instead, what you can do is compliment their music, send them a comment, comment on one of their pictures. You can also send them a quick message saying, hey, I like your music. How long you've been doing music? Those simple steps will take you a long way and they'll prevent your account from being blocked because when you follow up a question with a compliment, you're more likely to get a response as well. Post pictures of yourself on Instagram. People are not gonna buy from someone they don't know. So if they can see exactly what you look like and who you are and you give them a little story about yourself, the more inclined to open up, purchase from you, and even spend a little bit more money than they normally would, especially when you're reaching out to them. This technique is very crucial. It just promotes transparency. And I can't stress that enough. If they trust you, they will spend money with you. And then they will also keep coming back, coming back, and coming back. All right? Do not be desperate to sell a beat. Don't offer someone $50 for five beats. And then if they say no, then okay, I'll give you all five beats for 10. No, it's kind of shady. And they'll be more likely to back up. Instead, what you can do is you can offer two more beats or three more beats at the same price. So it'd be like, uh, I like these five, but I don't know. Okay, if you purchase today, I'll add in two more beats on top of that five. So now you have seven beats for 50 bucks. Now that sweetens the pot and if they still don't bite on it, let it go. Basically tell them, hey, when you're interested, hit me back. Or if they say I don't have any money right now, ask them, when will they have money? All right, write it down in your schedule, contact them again on that day they say they have money, and be like, hey, but offer them the original deal first, and they'll be like, oh, what happened to the so-and-so? Or they may be like, uh, I don't know yet. Just be like, okay, well, the previous deal still stands, then seven beats, 50 bucks. What you wanna do, all right? So those are just three steps that you shouldn't, that you should take in order to increase your sales, all right? So, with that being said, if there's any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. In other words, see you in the next video. Peace.